Hello everyone, uh, my name is Keegan Mahaffey. I have been a licensed real estate agent since February of 2021. Um, I have been with eXp Realty that entire time until about a few days ago. Uh, I made the switch to Epic Realty, which is a newer brokerage. And today I will go over kind of the five reasons why I left eXp. And kind of to start off, uh, I'm gonna start by saying I never really would have thought of leaving eXp. Uh, I never um, had even an, a little inkling of an idea of leaving eXp um, until I came across Epic and my uh, broker put that in front of me and I saw their business model and it did basically the same thing eXp did when I was uh, interviewing other brokerages when I first started out in the industry. So a little bit of background is um, I was licensed uh, right after I turned 18. Um, I interviewed Keller Williams, you know, Berkshire Hathaway, a few other brokerages, and um, I ended up deciding on eXp because when I first saw the business model, it was like, just, I was amazed. And also uh, the broker that um, was interviewing me was actually not the state broker, but a uh, broker here in Rochester, Michigan, and I really liked him as well. So I was like, well, I wanna work for uh, you and work at eXp. And so now I'll kind of start getting into the reasons why I decided to leave eXp. Um, the first major reason was I found a better opportunity in the new brokerage that I joined. Um, it has a similar model to eXp, but there's just some slight advantages compared to what eXp offers. Um, so that was just the first one that kind of opened my eyes in the first place and kind of made me realize like what I wasn't receiving from eXp that I would have probably liked to be receiving. So the second major reason why, which first kind of tipped me off, and I'm like, well, maybe it's not the place for me, um, was when some of the bigger groups in my state in Michigan uh, started joining, I didn't really identify with the groups, you know, um, like some of them would market like to join their team, but wouldn't exactly market eXp. And it's just making calls and whatnot. Like I couldn't uh, really compete with that as well as um, I just kind of had a bad taste in my mouth about one of the bigger teams in uh, that ended up switching over to eXp. And uh, that's just really what kind of started opening up my eyes to um, why I might want to like look at other brokerages, just kind of see around, see what's out there and uh, see if there's anything similar or with maybe even a little bit better opportunity than what eXp has. And um, so that was kind of the second major reason was I didn't really identify with some of the bigger teams that uh, bigger footprints of eXp. So the third reason why I ended up leaving eXp was because I didn't really have a relationship with the state broker. Um, I would get some emails from them. I never knew. We had two different state brokers while I've been here uh, for Michigan, and I couldn't even tell you what either of them looked like. I knew both of their names from contracts and having to have their names on the contracts, but um, I never really received any calls or uh, anything other than really emails from them. So I didn't, that was one of the main reasons why too, I didn't have any relationship with the state broker. Um, and I just feel that that's kind of important just because they're your person in command. Usually I would go right to my um, broker that I ended up joining originally, but I also just never really had a relationship with the state broker, which is kind of on me as well. But um, I would have thought there would have been maybe a little bit more outreach, but it's just um, mainly emails and whatnot, in which other people might have had different experiences. That's just uh, my experience. So the fourth reason why I ended up deciding to leave eXp was because uh, one of the main reasons why I originally joined was I was a new agent. I saw the training, the eXp world and everything as well. And that was pretty crazy to me as well. But um, yeah, a lot of the training, like, I just, it was more basic level training. Like I didn't get the, it was a lot more, 
I don't even really know how to phrase this, but it just didn't really, like it was a lot of basic, super basic stuff, um, at least in my experience. Uh, it wasn't like anything really to grow and expand my business. And there was a series from Icon Agents and stuff as well. Um, but even that, like, it was just a lot of like pump me up kind of stuff, like just basic sales. And so the fifth reason on why I decided to leave EXP was because uh, when I first found out about EXP World, when I was joining EXP, I was astonished. I didn't really know much about the like uh, open world metaverse stuff. And I was just really uh, shocked that they provided this and whatnot. And part of this is probably on me as well, but um, I didn't find it as user friendly as I thought it was gonna be. Um, and there's also just a little bit of uh, kind of like bugs, not, not even anything crazy. It's just, it wasn't really all they cracked it up to be when I was originally joining is basically what it was. But um, the last bonus point on why I left EXP, which is it wasn't a super big factor, but while I was working there, I didn't really realize it until after. So while I was at EXP, we went, we started out with Sync as our CRM, and then we switched over to KV Core, which is provided by EXP. And um, we used the team platform and it was, it was just tough. It was uh, very slow and I couldn't, we ended up switching out of KV Core before we even left EXP um, just because I think it's just, it grew uh, faster than they were expecting. So I'm sure an individual KV Core site and everything, probably it could work perfectly, but the team version uh, was not great at all. I would have rather use Sync than KV Core and now we switched over to Follow Up Boss and I could not be happier. But that's just a quick rundown on uh, why I decided to leave EXP. And like I said, I never thought I was gonna leave EXP. I um, loved everything that they offered, loved their incentives. And I just ended up finding a company that um, offered better incentives, had more opportunity, and uh, I can kind of identif identify with more. And I've already went into the company training here and there's uh, great training. There's actual sales courses like on how to be a salesperson and uh, how to increase your, not even just real estate specific, but yeah. So, those were kind of the main five reasons and little bonus extra reason why I left EXP. Um, and I still think that they're a great company. I wish them all the best, but I just decided that I wanted to find a better opportunity and uh, it came right across my desk. So, alrighty. Thank you for watching.